Hi everyone, my name is Owen Reeves. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Bremen and I'm going to be translating the video blog created by Dennis Fink. This is Dennis, he's a PhD student at the Max Planck Institute for Marine Microbiology and he's going to be keeping us updated over the next five weeks about the goings-on aboard the research vessel Meteor. Welcome aboard. Built in 1986, the Meteor is almost 300 feet long and is based out of the port of Hamburg in northern Germany. Now before we get down to the task of unpacking all of our gear in these boxes, let's first meet Nicole Dubillier, our chief scientist. Hi, I'm Nicole Dubillier from the Max Planck Institute of Marine Microbiology in Bremen. I'm the chief scientist of this cruise. It's the 82nd expedition of the German research vessel Meteor, and we're now heading out to the Menes Gwen hydrothermal vent field. Um, it lies south of the Azores on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge at 37 degrees north. Um, Menes Gwen is a large underwater volcano that lies at about 800 meters water depth. We have the Marum remotely operated vehicle quest with us and we're going to use it to collect samples for our geologists, chemists, and biologists on board. We have a 24-hour transit time ahead of us. That's a very short time, um, so we're all rushing to get our lab set up. Um, but we'll be there soon and we really can't wait. The first day on board the Meteor is pretty much like moving house. We spend all of our time moving boxes into the labs and getting set up. The dive team makes some last minute adjustments to our dive robot, the remotely operated vehicle Quest, which you see here. While we all receive some very important instructions on how to wear a life jacket at sea and look fashionable. So after a first day of unpacking, we are finally ready to set sail from the port of Punta Delgada and the Azores. The weather is good and even though not all of our gear is unpacked and set up yet, we are looking forward to a great cruise. So thank you all for watching this first installment of News from the Pile Deck and until the next time, all the best from me and Dennis.